welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video so we are about to hit 400,000 subscribers and also 200 videos this is the 200th video on the channel just kidding i actually miscounted and we already passed the 200th video but listen just pretend okay just pretend which is just absolutely spectacular so thank you guys so much for sticking around watching my content i really appreciate each and every one of you and uh to say thank you to you guys i'm going to be publicly humiliating myself for thousands of people to see no it's not gonna be that bad i'm just gonna be watching my very first video that I ever posted. Now, I have made it a point to not watch this video. I have watched the very beginning of it a little bit because I included it in one of my videos. I included like you know, the first couple of words that I ever said on YouTube. But aside from that, I cannot bring myself to watch it, number one. And number two, <laughs> I, um, I've always wanted to do this video also. So I've been trying to save my genuine reaction for whenever I'm gonna do this video. <laughs> so yeah, I have not really watched it since I posted it. Maybe I watched it back in the day, back in the very beginning, maybe like a week or two after I posted it, but it's been it's been a while it's been like two years <laughs> it's been like two years and a lot has changed honestly youtube has given me such a bigger voice i was so shy and so anxious well i'm still anxious but just less shy <laughs> and now i can actually talk to a camera and now i can actually talk someone's ear off if they let me so that has been really amazing and i know that i am very soft-spoken in this video I know that the volume sucks, so let's just get into it. Uh, I'm not ready. I, honestly, <laughs> I'm not ready. So the very first video is called Decorating My Fairy Slash Cottage Core Entrance Sparkle Emoji Animal Crossing Speed Build. Now I said Fairy Slash Cottage Core because I still didn't know what I was doing with my island. I still hadn't decided on the theme. Oh my God, this video's 21 minutes. That's, uh, that's a pretty decent time, but that's just more time for me to cringe at my past self. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. I got an ad. I gotta turn my volume way up for this. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness, old Pelican Bay. Look at it. All right, let's press play. Let's press play. Ah, uh, okay. Hello and welcome. I am but an Animal Crossing noob, but I have some content to share with you today. I'm so quiet. Um, I've recently discovered my aesthetic, my aesthetic, which is kind of like this cottage core, fairy core, uh, pink, white, yellow, pink, white, yellow, uh, very naturey, naturey kind of vibe. Kind of vibe. And I am gonna redo my whole island. Uh, I only have this island. little entrance area done. So this was far. cute. This was really cute. I really do love it. Uh, just gonna tweak a couple of areas in this video, improve a couple things, add some paths. Okay. Add a little tiny area. Sounds like a plan. Um, but this is pretty much what it looks like so far. Uh, I really mm -hmm. love it. I downloaded this path today. I do like uh, that path. Everyone's obsessing over it on Twitter. So safe to say I had to join in the trend. But I honestly do love it too. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So what? Right <laughs> what was that here, pause? Okay. I'm just kind of figuring out what to do first. What do I work on? I'm checking in my inventory. I didn't clear out the inventory first. I have that can work with and I still still that I bad habit that I do. Uh the Atlas Moth model, which I really oh, like. It's so big. I totally forgot about using cute. like bug but models. I just start putting that down and trying to figure out a good spot for it. Mm -hmm. Um it's kind of sticking out a little bit, so I wanna push that in and then put Got it back it. down so it fits better. I'm very, you know, I'm very thorough. Like I'm, I'm talking about every single detail. Like I can't lie. <laughs> uh, I'm doing a good job explaining everything. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be way worse. A lot more like stuttering, um, ah, uh, kind of stuff. I'm just very monotone. <laughs> I have no energy. Where's the energy? <laughs> it's okay. I the energy picks up after a couple of seasons. Don't worry about it. You just gotta get past the first episode. You know, the first episode always sucks. Okay, and there's just like a big pause where I'm just switching it around. That's fine. It's fine. But I'm not really doing anything. I'm just running around. What am I doing? So here I have a 
bamboo shoot lamp that I wanted to try to put there by that seating area, but it did not fit. But it didn't fit. So okay. I'm trying to find where else it would I love those shoot, stones. And ultimately, I decided just to put it right here, and I think Cute. it looks really good. And also, by the way, if you see me just like running in circles or like doing random weird stuff, just like walking back and forth, I mean, um, random I'm just, weird like, stuff at things and trying to imagine in my head like what I could put there or what I could change. I'm just like trying to get ideas. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's there I still do that, that, even though I cut the majority. I still run of around in circles, video, but just letting you know. So thanks for letting I us know. Just, uh, Why did I have wait? That dark brown. <laughs> I had the Taco Bell custom design. <laughs> Why did I have Taco Bell? <laughs> oh, I think I made that actually. Now that I think about it, I actually think I made that design just for funsies. Oh, and the Kermit design. Wow, this is such a throwback. Look at all these old designs that I used to have. Taco Bell logo, absolutely hilarious. Dirt with this custom path which is also right. dirt, which, but it's like more gray, but whatever, it's cool. So- But whatever, it's cool. Down. I think I definitely heard like a little click, like my the click of my mouse. <laughs> I just left it in. Just, yep, everyone wants to hear that. Okay, I see the vision. I see the vision. You know, it's- it's okay. It's okay. I honestly liked the dark brown dirt. I don't really like the stuff that I'm putting down right now. But it's okay. Okay. We're just doing dirt. We're just scooping dirt. And my shovel broke. Oh no. What am I going to do? Do I, I I cry? Oh. All right. Cut to new shovel. <laughs> okay. There's not really much that I'm doing here besides just cleaning everything up. I start going in with some new designs. Okay. So I kind of I vaguely remember doing this. It was giving me such a pain. Um, oh yeah, first problem. I only want this little area that I just put down, that path I just put down to be mm -hmm. like one space wide, but whichever path I put down, it's gonna have that blunt edge, because that's just how the path okay. is. Um That's an so issue. First I I'm just gonna like do the other pass first and then come back to it later because I did not right I just leave no your problems for later I was like this does not fit this this does not work what am I gonna do so what am I, I ever gonna do to a roadblock like that uh, I would usually just try to complete something else first I don't like to dwell on it for a super don't dwell time. on the roadblocks so here I'm just like putting my energy into finishing the other area like the rest of the area first and it's then, not even that big of a deal um, Okay. I'll come back to it after I clear a little bit of that out and like figure out how the rest of the path is gonna look, so I have the rest of it complete first, and then I can okay, fair enough. Work on the problem child afterwards. Fair enough. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. We finish everything else first, and then we come back to the problem child later. Okay, I get it. I I get it. The strategy is good. Up until I finished this island, I did keep this general like kind of not shape necessarily but this layout is kind of what I kept so even from the start it was this is what it was <laughs> I did make some tweaks here and there um I believe that dream address should still be up for a pelican bay which is this island if you want to go visit it so this is me, doesn't look like this uh, anymore running around and thinking about what I'm gonna do for this problem child of a path right here but ultimately I do find a solution. Um, it's just to make it bigger, make the just path make lighter. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted it to be like that cute little circle around the tree, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. So I kind of just gotta extend do what you gotta it do. out onto the stone. And unfortunately that means I do have to move the stone over to compensate. But so whatever, unfortunate. It's fine. Um, I just add like these little rounded areas and make like this little blob on the edge blob. so it's it's very uh blob like it is blob like it, it's fine it's we're fine i love how i've been saying that since the beginning just like it's fine we're fine whatever <laughs> definitely that's been my mentality like oh, whatever it's just it's fine <laughs> and now that whole problem that i had with that little edge that i was talking about in this video now i wouldn't even have that because they make those like one 
one tile. You know what I'm talking about? Like the skinny one tile thingies? Ah, oh, I'm getting an ad now. No! Okay, putting down weeds, of course, trying to get the good ones. Good to know that my tastes have stayed relatively the same. <laughs> Definitely love those weeds that I put down way more than the other ones. Adding this little sign that's so cute. Love it. So right here, I put down the moon chair and then literally the right chair. before your eyes, you can Gorgeous. see me freaking out and being like, oh, there is no Why space am I freaking out? to put any flowers. Uh, I, I oh, tried to put no. a lily back here and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's not enough flowers because you can't put flowers on the custom path, which sucks. Okay. That is the only con of me using these beautiful paths, but uh, I decide that I can shave some off of this little like dongle area that I have right here. The dongle area. Um, Good to know dongle has remained in my vocabulary. In front of the moon chair to put my lily of the valley, which I really wanted to be right in front of it. I don't know, I just liked how it looks. No, that's so cute. That is what lily of the valley right got a flex, got a flex, for sure. You know, as I'm watching this, I just... I get the memory of doing this. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I remember doing this. I remember my thought process. Like, oh yeah, like. Uh, also, please tell me I can't I'm not the it. only one who hates those weeds. Like, oh yeah, still hate them so much. Those are the They're worst. So ugly. They are uh, so the ugly. The only good ones are those little ones. Are the are the ones that look like uh, blades of grass. I don't know. Yeah, I just the hate grass those ones so are much. the best. I refuse oh, to the have star them on clocks. My I do refuse to have them on my island, even now. Here, Absolutely I'm not. I'm just reworking the path a little bit. Um, I just to add more to flowers. Take some of it off, so I can put some more flowers back here. Because again, uh, not enough flowers. I'm addicted to flowers. They must be everywhere. Uh, it's, it's it's part of the the vibe, the cottage core, you know, very nature-y, So. I'm. I love how I say. I love how I say cottage core. Yeah, I'm using like star fr like star clocks and like crescent moon chairs and like putting down pink flowers like this is girl this is obviously fairy core <laughs> i mean not that it matters you can you know define aesthetics any way you want but my island did end up merging to fairy core i just didn't really know what to call it like i was new to like aesthetics like this so i just didn't know what to call it on that back uh, little area right there, just adding a bush and some more flowers so you can kind of see that in between the trees and it like Cute. makes it more full looking. It does look more full looking. Nice. Next, I want to work okay. on this New area. empty area. Uh, not the cliff, um, but like the area on the bottom. Oh, so, okay. I thought we were working on the cliff. When in doubt, add a waterfall. Am I right? So that's when in doubt, add a waterfall, yes. So right here, I'm just um, playing with the little pond at the bottom of the waterfall, which I think you legally have to put a pond at the bottom of the waterfall. Yes. Otherwise, it looks weird. That's just my opinion, but... Uh, I'm just playing. I got it. the jokes. Uh, I thought that shape was kind of cool, but ultimately, I I did want like a a pond pond, not like some weird little river. I I got the joke. I'm kind of funny. Like, not gonna lie, <laughs> I didn't think past me was gonna be this funny. Okay, so we're just working on the cliff, working on the waterfall. I remember doing this, and I remember it being a huge pain. Because I couldn't get the shape right. Because it's right up against like the beach right here. So like I had no space. But that's so okay. So here I wanted to extend this dirt path just a tiny bit more. Because it was looking a little angular. Um, it was kind of angular. looking like, a, like an L shape. And I didn't really like that. So I just wanted to add like Hate a the little letter blob L. on the end. Just extend it so it more was... More blobs, okay. Um, more going towards the waterfall a bit. Uh, I put a little too, a little too much right here. <laughs> um, I was gonna continue it going in front of the pond, but I decided ultimately that Ooh, the was, lag that was gonna be too awkward in that small little path right there. So I just added that. Okay, that, that looks good. Blob and I, I think That's it made cute. it more dynamic. Um, dynamic. Like and then uh, that area was looking a little too thick to me i don't know how to describe it too thick um, yeah there was just no too i agree i was gonna brown. say that it was looking too like bare yeah so i decided Ooh, the music to add got very loud like all of a sudden circle indent thing did so not put, know about volume uh, levels you guessed it a flower okay okay 
Yeah, that looks a lot better. Looks a lot better. All right. Very interesting looking. The flower is cute. It is very cute. And I'm just running around doing my quirky thing. Ooh, look at all those flowers. What a mess. I wish I would show what my whole island looks like. My island was a mess for so long. Like an actual mess. Like I know how sometimes I say, oh, my island's a mess and it's like not that bad. This was actually a mess. And also I know that my footage would always lag because I was recording on like a gaming laptop and it just did not have like the capacity to, <laughs> for some reason, like record Animal Crossing. So I would get lag spikes a lot. And it was like that for a long time. As I'm clearing this little area out, clearing out that fence and the flowers, I have the idea to make like a little picnic area, I guess. Uh, picnic area, cute. Picnic area. To put down like a picnic blanket. Um, so I needed a custom design for the picnic blanket. So uh, I'm when we had to go into Ables to get I designs. Take forever to find one that I liked. Uh, so I'm including the creator code here, and I'll put it in the description as well. And I just wanted to show. Um, I always put in like the like the person's code, not the design. So I, can I still look do at this. The other stuff that they make. Cute. Like, look at all of this. I was so tempted to use like all of these. Like the the little bow chibi is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. And yeah, there you can see I I had tried some other blanket patterns and they were not working. So this was the one I ultimately ended up going for. Okay, and, cute. Um, after I save all of them, I continue to look and long at these other custom patterns and thinking of what else I could use them for. But I had no slots Me. Left, so I will just be looking. But oh yes, I take a screenshot for safekeeping. So <laughs> nice. hopefully you can find uh, a pattern or two that you like from there. Aw, that's so nice of me to say. Hopefully you can find a pattern or two that you like from there. Alright, so now we're going in with the picnic. Very cute. Aw, little raven. This is so cute. This is so nostalgic. Honestly, I'm not having any embarrassment. I thought I would be so embarrassed watching this video, like getting secondhand like cringe from myself. But it's actually really sweet. It's really cute. I like it. You know, the, the design is questionable the designing is questionable but the effort and the intentions are very wholesome <laughs> so no cringe at least yet my very first coconut juice as well and more running around nice that really that really adds to the video raven thank you so much for adding that just like running around with no commentary it's honestly the best <laughs> i don't know if i was putting these saplings down just like for decoration or if i wanted them to grow into trees or, because they're obviously not going to grow where I put them. More flowers. Right in the walkway. Oh yeah. Okay, scoop them up. This whole section Thank you. is pretty much me just being really picky about oh, I had gala. the colors of the flowers and where I'm placing them exactly. Um, which is honestly fine to do. Uh, I would honestly give that okay. advice. Um, be picky about where you want to put things because... For some of these placements, I look at them and I think, eh. eh. So I, I change it because if you have a bunch of little areas where you're like, eh, then you're just going to be eh about your whole island, honestly. Facts. Or at least parts of your island. So uh, I personally say be 100% happy, you know, with where you put things. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect right off the bat, but if you pass by it and you're like, oh, I, you know, that, that could use a little tweaking. Just, just do it. Just do it. Because I promise you, like, even if it wasn't that bad before and you tweak it and you really love it more than before, then, you know, that's that's good. That That is good. Thank you, Raven. Thank you for that. That is very cute advice. I would I would still agree. I would still agree. I still end up doing that where I do something and I'm like, eh, it's fine. <laughs> and then later I'm like, okay, I'm changing this whole thing. When in the beginning I could have just spent a little more time on it and just made it how I loved it to start. But yeah. Here I'm trying to figure out what to put in that little gap um, and then I thought that a little bench would be really cute. Mm, yes, but a little bench. I did bench. not have any so I had to go oh, to my house. Oh gosh, all the flowers. Them. So I'm just going to craft the 
log bench. Wow, is look it? at all my supplies. Like cut in half. Um, I think it's really cute. I got those um, all like on my own too. It to the birch. My house, um, wow. To the birch wood. It looks really, really cute, especially with my theme. So I just make one of those, and then I actually customize it to the white wood, not the birch, and I don't realize that until later. Uh, it still looks cute with the white, but I just personally like the birch. Me too. I've never liked um, the white wood. And then I actually think of another item to put right next to it, which is the log stool, which I have to go make. And then I have to customize that as well. Crazy stuff. Riveting. And then I'm going to be putting it... I like my shop's right area. To that That's bench. cute. And it's going to be like a little... Uh, I'm going to put something on top of it. You'll see. Oh, we'll see. Ooh, mysterious. Okay. We'll just have to see. Um, I don't know why I left this in. This is just me buying customization kits. But while we're here... Uh, Nintendo, can I please buy more than five customization kits at a time? Literally, some things take seven, so you're telling me that I have to buy five and then buy one and then buy another one? It's the most annoying thing ever. Actually, it's not the most annoying thing. There's more annoying things, but... True. Can I please have that quality of life change, please? I will I pay you, like, three Nook Mile tickets. <laughs> three Nook Mile tickets. Uh, anyway, so... I got the jokes! I, that I got the jokes, that's when wow. I realized that I incorrectly customized the log bench, so I had to Okay, yeah, that. fix that um, way better. And then I'm gonna go grab the item that I was talking about. Uh, it's just an infused water dispenser, which I think is a really cute item. Wow, that's what we were so mysterious Actually, over, uh, an infused water dispenser. All the fruit inside of it, it's, I don't know, it's really cute. It looks really refreshing and I want to drink out of it. I do want to drink out of it. For summer and since I have that fruit bowl and a little coconut juice, I just thought it was like a cute little like chill refreshing area by the beach and then i i just saw uh, text i put i love you tangy at the like top piece of fence that was there <laughs> that was like the lattice fencing or whatever so i just fixed that really quick okay nice um, work and then i'm just doing some final touches here final touches putting down that little stone and i'm gonna add like these little little flower bud things those are cute uh, i tried putting some there but I didn't like how they looked. So I liked I how they looked. I actually put some underneath the bench because I thought, I don't know, just created some more detail in the space. Yes. See, I was putting custom designs underneath furniture from the start, people. From the very beginning. <laughs> I knew what was up. I knew what was up. Honestly, like, if I just tweaked some of these items, I would probably do something similar to this even now. Like, you know, a cuter bench. I, why did I put my text captions like so small? I put deep breath. Why did you bury that? <laughs> Log stakes, very cute. I would love to do redo. I would love to redo fairy core. <laughs> that would be very nice, very fun. I really like the stones though. Some of the custom designs. I don't know why I ever got rid of them. Like some of these are so cute. Love the spinning. So that is it, my dudes. Oh my uh, goodness. That was <laughs> we had to do the tweaks. the camera glitch. I totally forgot about that. That's why I have so many weird screenshots in my folder. We had to do the, we had to open the camera and right as it was opening, take a screenshot. And that was the only way to get rid of the UI. I wow. The throwback. <laughs> the throwback of like if you didn't get it right the first try you had to try again and it was like so annoying and then finally they actually added the ability for us to just do it in the uh game itself oh my goodness okay let's listen to my intro sorry outro let's listen to the outro and then we'll give more comments here and there and making that cute little area uh, i hope you enjoyed this is my first little baby youtube video ever so sorry for any mistakes but i had a blast making it and i hope you have a great day Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was cute. Oh my goodness. I'm emotional. That was very sweet. Like, I don't know, just seeing like the total like the like the person I used to be, it's like, oh my god, like that's a different person. Like that's such a different person. And it's crazy. I was so soft spoken, like I said, I was so just like tiny baby you know like i said my first tiny little baby youtube video wow <laughs> and now here i am this is me and oh i didn't even know what a squishmallow was when i made that video isn't that sad 
Isn't that the saddest thing you've ever heard? No, but ah, oh, this was this was a very fun thing to watch. I honestly thought that this was gonna be bad and cringy, but it was just cute. It was just I don't know. It was just me loving the game and wanting to share it with people and wanting to dump all of my Animal Crossing thoughts somewhere. So that's why I started this YouTube channel and that's why I keep it going because you know, it's just me loving the game and me just loving, well now it's just me loving making YouTube videos and talking to you guys and stuff. So thanks. <laughs> thanks for watching my video, my videos. I really appreciate it. This was very cute. And I can't believe this video has 105,000 views. What the heck? <laughs> I think I remember it got like a hundred video, a hundred views or something. And I was like, oh my God, like this is so much. And now everybody goes back to watch it. So, wow. I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I just, I don't know. I thought I was going to have more stuff to say, like more making fun of myself, but it was just cute and I just actually enjoyed it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.